Hi, and welcome back to another video. And in this one, I wanted to explain how the New Orleans Pelicans decision to shut down Zion Williamson is a blessing in disguise for Zion and his overall well-being. As a nutritionist, I've dealt with several athletes, and I believe that it's not just about his injury, but what is continuously happening, and it's a growing pattern. I have a comparison to Zion Williamson that obviously heard people compare him to Charles Barkley, heard a couple of Larry Johnson comparisons, LeBron James, but I'll take it a step further. Yes, I see the Charles Barkley comparison, but I compare him to late 90s, early 2000s Shaquille O'Neal, where these seasons would go by and then a player is in the off season Shaq was making movies, he was making music, all kind of stuff. So he would use the season to get ready. That works when you are able to bounce back and play 70, 80 games and between um, preseason, regular season, practice, scrimmages, all these different things, your body is constantly moving. So you can work off that, all that fat and all that excess of water weight that you had brought in during the um, off season. I believe that that's what's happening with Zion Williamson as we see from his high school days, his college days, and his professional career in such a short window, he's had too many soft tissue injuries and lower extremity injuries that tells me three things. One, everybody knows that he's putting a lot of force on his body. Basketball is a very demanding sport for the lower extremities because it's a hard surface. There's no give on that court. Also, he is an above the rim athlete. Shaq later in his days was a below the rim athlete. Charles Barkley, after his first couple years in um, Philadelphia, he was an under the rim athlete and undersized. It's hard to compare him to anybody, but I believe those two are kind of the, the far left and the far right and Williamson's in the middle because any change in your routine, your lifestyle, that's going to impact your body. So what I believe has happened is he's eating ridiculously poor where he's having foods that are high in inflammatory oils and in inflammatory products like uh, simple sugars, uh, starches. He's consuming the wrong kind of carbohydrates. And also when you pair all of those things with an increase in sodium intake, he's running a body of just horrible uh, just horrible structure. So from head to toe, he's all over the place. You're not, if your diet is poor, you're not going to be able to focus on the court. When your diet is poor, your pre-recovery and your post-recovery is going to be affected. So that workout is going to feel that much harder to, to get through. That soreness is going to linger because the body is trying to recover because it doesn't have the right fuel to aid a proper inflammatory response to heal and recover free radicals in his body. Plus we want to reduce the amount of atrophy in his body so he can pop back up and get back on that court the next day and be at peak performance. When you're not doing that and you get injured, that seven to 10 day window turns into 14 days. Then it's 21. Then before you know it, it's one month. Then you overcompensate because you don't even realize it that I'm overcompensating for my left ankle pain with my right ankle. So I'm putting more wear and tear on that because I'm trying to reduce the amount of exposure to my left ankle. And it just wears on you. And over time, it just gets worse and worse. Similar to a Derrick Rose. Now, I do think that he needs to get around the right people who will hold him accountable. Maybe his inner circle is starting to do this. I don't know, but he needs to get with a nutritionist who can work with his trainer to make sure his pre-recovery foods, his post-recovery foods, his in-season and leisure time foods and meals are crafted specifically to his size and lifestyle 
short term, medium and long term. So that would be a short term would be three months. Medium would be six months and then uh, long term will be anything up to a year. That way you're covering the entire season plus the off season and you're giving the body proper time to recover heading into your off season workouts, your proper time to heal during the off season, but also be at peak performance coming into the season. He does have time to get things back on track, but he has to take accountability for himself and those around him have to get with the right people who will protect him and his brand. And it's going to require some extra TLC. That's my thoughts and comments. Is this a good decision for them to shut him down? Is there more to meet the eye? Do you think that he can turn it around or is this just gonna be a constant ongoing battle? Leave them comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.